Academia Sinica has teamed up with a Russian developer to build a super-fast, highly accurate object detection system. The system, called YOLO version 4, is already in use in Taoyuan and Shinzu, where it helps resolve traffic problems. It can also be used to detect whether people are practicing social distancing. Let's take a look. As soon as humans enter the frame, this object tracking system calculates the distance between them. The boxes are green when people keep at least six feet apart. This system can also detect whether the people are wearing masks. The application can be anywhere, right? Anywhere, including uh, biology and medical treatment and different area, as long as there's a, a need of uh, object detection. For example, there's an example about social distance. They use the detector as a, as a first stage and detect the human beings walking within the field of view and try to calculate the distance. The AI-based real-time object recognition system is called YOLO, which stands for You Only Look Once. The original version was created by Joseph Redman in 2016. The fourth version, the latest one yet, was developed by Alexey Bohovsky and two researchers from the Academia Sinica, Wang Jianyao and Mark Liao. It uses artificial intelligence to detect objects, track and judge much faster and more accurately than before. Usually we say uh, real time means it's 30 frames per second. Currently, Yolo V4 is able to achieve 430 frames per second. That means 10 times faster than human beings. One of the biggest applications for the system is traffic image recognition and traffic flow analysis at intersections. The technology has been installed in Taoyuan and Xinzhou. So this road intersection can detect real time information and pass this information to each other so that we, can, we are able to dynamically control the traffic light without the intervention of human beings. Researchers have moved to allay concerns over privacy and security concerns over the new technology. Because it can complete all the calculations directly on the H end, so the data will not pass through people. You don't have to worry about the privacy of the people at the intersections, or worry that what you do in the car will be seen by others. The data is all handled by the machine on the local side, and will not be uploaded to the cloud. It is relatively safe, and privacy is protected. Since the release of the open source code in April, tens of thousands of people worldwide have tested and applied the algorithm. For Taiwan, it's a milestone in computer engineering, as well as a big step toward developing smart cities. For most of the news, Stephanie Yang, Liao Wenpu in Taipei.